Chat is changing and doing more than just giving people access to answers 24-7 about auto purchases. It is also providing data for dealers. Dealerships have been a little bit slow to, uh, to adopt a technology that really has been around for, you know, 10, 12 years now. Uh, but uh, I, I think the biggest reason on why the automotive industry and dealerships specifically were a little bit slower in adopting was the, um, the lack of infrastructure. So uh, it sort of goes back to my earlier comment about how shoppers search for cars. The, the, it's not like uh, the online shopping world where you go to an online shopping cart, you look for the products you want and you check out. Uh, in the auto world, you're bouncing around between many different sites. Uh, you know, J.D. Power research recently 18 different websites, uh, typical consumer visits over the course of their shopping. So, so as you're doing that, uh, you need opportunities to reach out to the dealership. And, and, and if a dealership only has chat on their dealership website, they're missing out on the other 17 sites that the consumer visited. So having an infrastructure in place that allows the dealership to connect to visitors on any of those websites and be able to take their questions and capture that lead from any of those websites is key. And uh, of course, that's been a, a key driver to our success as a company. What has changed over the past couple of years to bring chat to the forefront of car shopping? And then what percentage are you seeing dealers having chat right now? Yeah, so, uh, so, so dealerships putting chat on their own website as opposed to dealerships using chat on, on various other websites. Uh, latest numbers I've seen around 30% of dealership websites now have chat. Uh, and that's up from, you know, uh, significantly from, from low single digits when we founded this company. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so it's happening, it's happening fast, and uh, there's a number of factors driving that now, including the fact that, that uh, a lot of the manufacturers are now encouraging it via co-op dollars, and uh, having seen the results and the proven ROI, you can't blame them. What are the economics of chat from a dealer's perspective? So dealers uh, measure pretty much everything in terms of how many cars does it sell. And uh, when it comes to chat, uh, it's a very easy thing to quantify. It's a very easy thing to track. So whether the chat is inbound off of a site like an auto trader, cars.com, edmunds.com, or off the dealership's own website, those are very easily trackable. It's one of the things that makes, uh, makes chat uh, 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 as popular as it is today is, is dealers can track it. And the ROI is measured then just in terms of how many deals did that bring in? How many of those uh, turned into shows? How many of them ultimately turned into sales? It's, it's easily trackable. And uh, you know, we had a survey recently of our customer base and, and uh, over 50% of the dealers that we surveyed uh, responded that they sold at least six cars a month uh, from chat. So uh, it's, a, it's a very easy thing to quantify and it's a, it's a big ROI. Definitely, it looks like chat is, is, is definitely moving cars for dealers, but what is one of, the, one of the biggest things that's holding back those dealers that don't have chat from moving into that new, uh, that new light? Yeah, well, if I knew the answer to that, I'd <laughs> probably have a, an even bigger company, right? right. But uh, uh, I think there's a certain amount of, of inertia, of course. Uh, anytime you're talking about adopting a new technology that requires a dealership to think, rethink about how they're interacting with their prospective customers, uh, there's a certain amount of inertia you have to overcome. Uh, as with most technology adoption, there's a tipping point, and so typically what happens is the adoption is, is slow up to a point, and then uh, once you reach that point, it becomes adopted by the masses. And I think we're literally right at that point as regards chat uh, within dealerships. Uh, we've seen, as I mentioned earlier, the adoption grow now to 30%, and I think we'll see it very quickly now escalate uh, well north of 50%.